my heartbreak, my absolute, I'm so incredibly intense about this because of the hundreds, thousands of students I've seen over the years walk away from their qualification because they feel like they're not smart enough. I clearly can't do this. This is for other people. I've tried, I've failed a few times now. Clearly I can't do this. And my heart absolutely breaks because that is not the case. You are missing some tools. It's like you're trying to build a house without a hammer and you're standing there with bleeding hands going, clearly I'm not meant to build. I can't be a builder. I can't build this house because I'm clearly too useless. And the only difference, if someone gives you a hammer and goes, yeah, you're missing a tool. Here, yeah, try this. Changes everything. You are by far smart enough for this, for this qualification. You absolutely can do this qualification. I want students to stop walking away from qualifications and from their studies and from their goals because they're worried that they're not smart enough. When in reality, what's happening is they're missing certain tools. I have knowledge. I have these skills. I need to go and collect some different skills. I need to work on the skill of communication. I need to work on the skill of application. I need to work on the skill of integration and problem solving. Those are different tools. You're standing in front of a wall, bashing at it with your fists, wondering why you can't get through. You just need to find tools. It's about finding the right tools for the job. The job's changed, so find the right tools. Don't walk away. Don't walk away until you have genuinely asked yourself, what tools am I missing? It is not about your intelligence. It is about the tools that you have to do the job and your ability, your courage. It takes courage to step back and say, Something's not working here. Maybe I need to change what I'm doing. I need to ask for help. I need to look around. I need to try and find something different. Going back to the same thing I've always done is not working. What else is there? It takes courage to be uncomfortable, to move into spaces that are uncomfortable. But having courage is a very, very different scenario and a very, very different challenge to I'm not smart enough to do this. If you don't have the courage to make these changes, that's your business. That's your choice. But by, by absolutely no means is it because you're not smart enough. You may decide that you don't want to do that. You don't want to change what you're doing. That's your decision. But I never want you walking away from this feeling like, oh, well, I wasn't smart enough to do it. Because that is absolutely not the case. I want students to understand how the education system has designed the way that we learn and study, has created beliefs around what we should be doing and ask whether this is still relevant for where we're going. Who are we dealing with? What are the beliefs of the people who are sitting in front of us? And are these beliefs helpful? Are their habits, beliefs, the way that they feel this should work? Is it going to get them where they need to go? And the answer in most cases is no. We need to change. We do not need more lectures. We do not need more notes. We do not need more theory. We do not need more subjects. We do not need more topics. What we need are different skills. We need to shift our belief about what learning is. Get rid of the idea that learning is about getting stuff right. Get rid of the idea that calculations and technical knowledge is more important than application, communication, problem-solving skills. Bring technical knowledge down off of this pedestal so that we can align it with the different skills required. To be a professional, you need knowledge, application, and communication on the same levels. It is useless for you to have knowledge on a pedestal, know a whole bunch of stuff, but you have zero ability to tell anyone about it. And you have zero ability to apply to different client situations. Your knowledge is meaningless. So bring knowledge off of its pedestal 
so that we can work on the skills that you need equally. Mindset and the way that we approach our learning is pervasive to our studies. It impacts the decisions we do and don't make about how we learn every single day. It makes sense to look at this, to ask, what is our mindset? What are our beliefs about how learning works? What do I need to change, get rid of? What am I focusing on when I'm studying? Is it the right thing? Is this going to get me where I need to go? It may be uncomfortable, but if it's going to get you there, it is absolutely worthwhile.